I'd like to do something I don't often do. Um, whenever uh, an actor or a film director or somebody in the movies dies, you get a bunch of calls from news agencies asking whether you, know, you have something to say uh, about the person. It, it, very often you don't, and it's very hard not to just uh, offer platitudes. Well, as you probably know, recently Edward Woodward died, and I got the usual round of phone calls, which I didn't reply to. There was something that I wanted to say, and I thought in a way the Kermode Uncut site was the perfect place to, uh, to do it, which is this. As you may know, I very briefly worked with Edward Woodward on some documentaries. I was very interested in The Wicker Man. I think it's a fascinating film, flawed but fascinating. I did a documentary for Channel 4 uh, about it called Burnt Offering, and uh, then they came to do the DVD commentary, and I moderated the commentary, which had uh, Edward Woodward and the director and Christopher Lee, and then later on, more recently, The Culture Show did a little tour around England going to locations where famous movies were filmed. And we took Edward Woodward back to the site where the Wicker Man was burnt, up on that headland. And he very gamely went right up to the, to the place with me and he stood there and did the whole thing, which a lot of people wouldn't do with his arms outstretched, doing the last lines from the Wicker Man. It was fabulous. And, and I've rarely had such a proud experience of standing there on that headland with... Edward Woodward recreating the scene from what was called the Citizen Kane of horror movies. Now here's the interesting thing. The Wicker Man has almost more infighting attached to it than any other film I've worked on. I've made documentaries about lots of films about The Exorcist, Blade Runner, Alien, you know, films that have been controversial and difficult. In the case of The Wicker Man, I've never come across quite so much bad feeling around a movie. It was almost as if the movie had a kind of strange aura. I mean, one guy who worked on the movie said that the film wasn't directed by Robin Hardy, it was directed in spite of Robin Hardy. Uh, somebody else uh, who'd worked on the movie said, oh, well, the director wasn't there when they filmed the most famous scene. Christopher Lee famously said that the producers had deliberately recut the movie and then buried the outtakes from it and it had gone into motorway landfill. Britt Eckland was still furious that she'd been lied to by the production. They said they wouldn't use a body double, but they did. Everybody had a, 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 an axe to grind. Everybody except Edward Woodward. And all the time I spoke to Edward Woodward about The Wicker Man, he never had a bad word to say about anybody. He thought that everyone had been great to work with and everybody did a really good job under really difficult circumstances and he was really impressed by how well the movie had aged over the years. And here's a, a story that kind of highlights that. He was talking to me about a memory that he had of his character going along in a truck, going past these trees, these blossoming trees. And he remembered that they didn't have very many trees. So in order to make the shot work, as the truck went past, somebody had to get the, uh, these, these trees and run around behind the truck and put them on the side of the road so that they could make it seem like there was more trees. And I asked some other people in the production whether this was true. And somebody else said, no, no, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. And Edward Woodward said, well, if they say it didn't happen, I'm sure they're right. I'm sure they're right. He said, I remember it happening, but I'm sure I'm imagining it. It was really interesting that his response was to say, well, I'm sure their memory is better than my memory. I just happen to remember it. I always thought it was a really unusual way of sort of fighting your comedy, just saying, yeah, you know, I'm probably wrong. I'm probably wrong. What does it matter? You see, in the case of The Wicker Man, there's so much strange negative energy around it that somehow... Woodward never got caught up in it. Much like his character in the film, he's an outsider. He's the one who's not in on what's happening in the community. And in fact, in many ways, he is the one who saves the community, albeit inadvertently. For me, people talk about Christopher Lee's extraordinary performance, but for me, Edward Woodward is the person who makes that film what it is. If you want to know just how good he was, look at the recent remake, in which Nick Cage demonstrates just what a horlicks you can make of that role. In fact, Nick Cage was asked about the remake of The Wicker Man in comparison with the original one, and he said, yeah, Edward Woodward got great reviews for the film I made, and he was right. That role was made by Edward Woodward. Anyway, I'm sure you all have your own favourite Edward Woodward films. I'm sure you have your own favourite scenes. Let me know what they are. But in this particular case, I just want to say he really was, in my experience of him, a genuinely heroically decent man.